Hello everyone and welcome to this Selenium with Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to handle the JavaScript alerts. So let's begin. So first, let's understand why we need to handle the alerts. So basically, what happens is that you write your script using the Selenium web driver, and what Selenium web driver will do is that open the browser and open your application. Okay, and once your application will be open, you will be performing different tasks. You will be clicking on the buttons, you will be filling some forms using the Selenium web driver and suddenly you perform some action and you will notice that you will get something like this one. So this is basically a JavaScript alert which comes on the top of your web application. Now as this is on the top of your web application, we cannot proceed further until unless we handle this one because our web driver is focusing on this main window. Okay, so this is the concept. So that's why we need to handle it. Else we will be getting our errors and our script will be failing. Okay, now uh, let's uh, go to the Python and start writing the script. So let me close this one. Let me go to the Python. And before that, let me show you the example on the browser itself. So I will be going here, the Internet Hero app. And here we need to go to this JavaScript alerts. And you see there are three different kinds of alerts here. One is simple alert, the other one is confirmation based, and third is the prompt based. So first, if you click on this one, you will get this kind of alert. And you see that I'm trying to click on the different elements on the page, but I cannot do it. And that's the reason your Selenium web driver script will fail unless you will handle this one and in order to handle this one you need to simply click on this one then you can click on any of the elements here on this particular page so if we talk about this uh, confirm based alert click on this one here we can confirm either you can go with the ok or cancel and again this you see that i cannot do anything on the main page okay and the third one is basically prompt based alert if I click on this one, here I can provide some text, then press OK or cancel it, right? And if I go here, again you see that I cannot perform anything on the main page, right? So that's why when we are working with the Selenium web driver, we need to handle these kinds of alerts. Now, let me go to the Python here and let me create one new Python file here. I'm naming it as Java script alerts and the first thing is that I need a driver right so simply what I'll say browser is equals to web driver dot Firefox and we need to import this web driver so we hover on this one import this name and I will import this selenium.webdriver okay now once we have uh, this one we can you know open the browser and do all the things so usually the practice is that I will I should create a variable called as URL and I put the URL inside this one okay so we we'll go here so this is the URL so let me copy this one from here and I need to put into a double quotes here. So this is the URL of the application. And now using this driver browser.get, I need to pass the URL. So why I have created the URL? So this there can be multiple reasons. The first reason is that we don't want to give a hard coded value inside this, this method or function. And second is that tomorrow you have 10 different test cases. So you have to define it once and pass the variable. So instead of you know giving the whole value, so what I'll do is that I'll copy this one and paste it here. Okay. Now once you are in this page, and if I go to the page here, so basically I need to click on this button so that I can get this alert here. Okay. So let me write inspect this one. And let me go to the structures up here. And we have this X path. So let me copy this X path from here. 
and I can go back here. So I like I need to find this button, right? So I will say alert button equals to browser dot find element by dot xpath and we need to import this by and let me type this again dot xpath and I need to provide the xpath of this particular button. Now I have identified this button so next step is to click on this button actually. So alert button dot click okay so uh let's run this one and see if your script is working fine so far or not so it should open the url into the firefox and it should click on the button so that we can get this alert All right so we are getting this alert here okay so let me close this one and instead of firefox because we have created a lot of tutorials using the firefox let's go with the chrome this time okay and once we have alert now i need to handle this alert and also i need to maximize the browser as well so that we can see it properly browser dot maximize window and that's it this is very simple because we have done in our previous test as well so this is really simple here so now let me run this one and see what is what happens it should open in the in browser this time and it should also maximize this one right so before using this method here what i'll do is that before even putting a url let me maximize this one now what happens is that we have identified the button and we are clicking on the alert button and once we have a alert button we cannot perform anything on the main page we need to deal with we need to handle this alert so we also need to verify that this alert is correct and not so what i'll do is that i'll create a variable called alert alert text alert text is equals to browser dot now previously what we are doing is that we are using the browser dot find elements to identify the elements but if i go here and if i go here if i click on this one and if i try to inspect this one i cannot inspect this one right i can inspect the other things so let me close this one again and right right click right click on this one so you see i cannot inspect this even right this is a problem i can inspect other one but as soon as this problem appears i cannot inspect this one so this means that we don't have the locator here then how we can get a text of this particular alert so this is a text here so simply uh, what we need to do is that browser dot switch to switch to and we need to switch to the alert right so once i have this one so let me remove this text here so i have this alert inside this alert variable and using this alert i'll say alert underscore text is equals to alert dot text so basically that's how i can get the text from the alert now simply go here and print this one so inside this one let me call p and paste this one and let's run this one again and see what happens so it's maximize of the alerts it will click on this one and see i am a js alert is printed right but here we have just printed the value we still haven't handled this one so in order to accept this the value in order to click on this ok there is a method the method is basically alert dot 
then we have accept in order to accept the alert so basically this is the alert it contains browser browser system because here we are switching to the alert so it has this value and using this one we are accepting this one and let me put some time to sleep so that we can see this execution uh, five seconds and i put in this one here as well and now let's run this one here and see what happens so you see that it will pop up this here it will be accepted and you see that you have successfully clicked an alert right so that's how we can actually work with this simple kind of a alerts now accepting we know that how we can accept this one but how we can cancel this one right so if, if we talk about uh, this particular inform you know so here we have this cancel option here as well right so what i will do is that let me go let me inspect this one first here and so this is the confirm let me copy this one and just use like spark so now this time i'm clicking on the second one and after clicking this one i'll be our getting the text and here instead of accepting this one what i will do is that we have a method called dismiss okay so let's run this one and see what happens it should print the text in the console and it also click on the cancel here as well so you click cancel you see that you click cancel right and here the text of the alert is printed as well now the third thing is that to put the uh, input to provide the input here right so if i go here if i click on this one here beside is accepting and dismissing we have to provide the text here right so what i will do is that let me inspect this third one and let me copy this one from here and to go back here let me change the x path here so this time i'm clicking on the third alert which is a copy paste okay. clicking on this one getting a test and here before I, I don't want to you know dismiss this one so simply first i need to provide text and so we have a method called send keys and using this one i will say um this is selenium with python tutorial on handling Alerts. and after this i need to accept this value okay. so i will be using this method now let's run this one and see what happens so we are getting the text as well we are providing the value and we are accepting the value let's see either it's providing the value here or not so it says that you enter this is senior with Python tutorial on handling alerts and it says that i am a JSPROM. so in this way you can actually handle the alerts so basically remember that you need to switch to the alert using switch to then once you are switched to the alert then you can accept you can dismiss you can provide the text using the send keys Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share, and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much, and see you in the next tutorial.